Hi guys, today's video is going to be my spring summer wardrobe swap. So I'm getting rid of my autumn winter stuff and bringing out the stuff for warmer weather. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I've left the house three times in about six weeks, um, I uh, have decided that enough is enough. I'm going to put away all my heavier clothes and I've never had more time to do it than right now. Uh, also, these are not real glasses. I've always wanted to wear glasses. I think it's really cool when people have no makeup on and they can wear glasses and somehow it gives them definition around their eyes and it makes them look like really studious and cool. But also I'm realizing glare. I used to lie about my eye tests or lie on my eye tests as a kid um, to try and get glasses. Obviously I didn't realize that they ask you the same questions repeatedly to try and get a better picture of your vision. And so clearly looking back, every single optometrist that I had visited knew I was lying. Cause just like, out and out lies. Um, all I ever wanted was glasses. Isn't it crazy? Uh, so I'm going to pull down all of my clothes from the top of my wardrobe. I'm going to swap everything out. I'm going to hopefully find a bunch of things that I didn't even know that I had completely forgotten about. And it's also going to quench that thirst for shopping. But first, we're going to take off these pretend glasses. All right, so I keep all of my clothes that I'm not using right now up here. These things up here are from Amazon. Um, I think this is like Christmas and stuff and big coats so I think this one is my summer clothes oh I just broke it okay that's not ideal and I'm not really a sewer so I was looking on ASOS I think it was the other day and um like just looking at stuff for new season stuff um and I kind of just stopped myself and thought this is ridiculous I need to go through what I've already got on top of my wardrobe before I even consider buying anything for spring summer because I truly can't remember half of the stuff that I have from previous years. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. So um, I've pretty much got everything that I want to put back up there in here. Whether or not it will close is another matter fingers crossed but um <laughs> I went downstairs I was just making a coffee and talking to my mom and um I, oh my god this is never gonna work this is way too much <laughs> what I really need is one of those uh, vacuum packed things really oh my goodness I think I'm gonna have to bring down the other one off the top of the wardrobe and put some of this stuff in there because there's just no way um also I am gonna go through some stuff and declutter because I realized as I was going through things I mean, I could probably do it now, truth be told, maybe I will, um, that there's a lot of stuff that I've been, as I've been swapping out my wardrobe, um, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't made the cut for several seasons, so that stuff should probably be decluttered, but I don't know if, I, I don't know if I've got the energy to do it today. Um, yeah, as I was talking to my mom, I was saying I'm probably going to wash this stuff, I've just made a pile of all the summer stuff that I want to come back out again. Um, and I've come back into the room and it smells musty. You know, like clothes that when you've washed them, they've not dried 100% and it smells kind of like, ugh. That's kind of what everything smells like in here. So I'm definitely going to wash all of the clothes that um, are coming back out from my spring summer. And um, well, for two reasons. Number one, obviously then they're gonna be all kind of fresh and clean anyway. But also I don't tend to iron anything. Uh, so especially with the like cottony stuff and like the little thin blouses and stuff and dresses, um, it's easier to hang them and dry them on a hanger than it is to actually go and be bothered to iron them all. So double duty really. I'll paint with colours and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. In the day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke, Ooh. and I will 
Try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Okay, so I've made a good amount of space in here, but I am kind of shocked by how many t-shirts and things that I've got. Um, I have made a small pile of um, clothes. I mean, I definitely could have done more, but I've made a small pile for now of clothes that I um, want to get rid of, clothes that I'm going to donate. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether or not we can still donate clothes at the bins at supermarkets or if we're going to have to wait until the lockdown is over to do that. So I don't really want to do a massive declutter right now and then just have bags around the house or in the boot of my car kind of waiting. Much as I'm, I've definitely got the impetus to declutter everything in my entire house, that's the one thing that's putting me off. So let me know if that's a thing. If you can still do it then we'll do a follow-up and I'm going to go through everything because I definitely feel like I could reduce some of this stuff. Um, but as well because this part of my wardrobe ends up being the majority of the year um I wanted to keep some things in here so I've got some very very lightweight jumpers some cardigans um and that kind of thing and then I'm gonna have the majority of the stuff that's gonna go back in there is very very thin so I feel like I'm still gonna have a full wardrobe but some of it is kind of like multi-seasonal if you will so I'm breaking for lunch and I thought it'd be a good time to do my first load of washing um I'm most excited about things like this little dresses that I can wear around the house when it's starting to get really warm like now, things that are just, you know, they're comfortable to wear, but they're not um, too kind of heavy. I'm finding that a lot of loungewear, a lot of like stuff like this, this is a relatively thin jumper and it's not super warm today. It's definitely cooled off again, but I'm just like sweaty all the time. I know I've been moving around, but even my leggings are feeling thick. Um, so that's the majority of the reason that I was motivated to swap my wardrobe over. Also, just quickly to address these drawers, at some point I'm going to go through these as well. This is basically like a catch-all rubbish drawer right now that needs to be um, organised and I need to, that needs to be more usable. Uh, and this is supposed to be a lovely pull-out shelf with lovely things on it and eventually that again became a bit of a, oh I'll just throw that in there and deal with it later. So since we have the time, um, we're going to be going through these as well at some point. Took a moment to film another video. Um, let's go and get stuff out of the washing machine, shall we? I'm sorry, I didn't put makeup on for you. I didn't put makeup on for the other video. Didn't feel like I needed makeup to clean out my wardrobe. Oh man. <sighs> I don't usually wear leggings and uh, a top like this, but hey, this is the equivalent of people only wearing like pajama bottoms when they're filming something. So, oh, I'm so excited to have all these summery clothes. Some of this stuff is a complete nightmare. This, for example, it's like um, a strange kind of stiff material. Really annoying. And just generally difficult to iron. And so I like to try and get it. Shall I do this part? I like to try and get it. Um, hung, wet, that's what she said. So I can avoid that if possible. But it is difficult with some stuff. I actually have never thought of doing this before. This is, you are seeing genius in action. Um, I'm just gonna go downstairs and continue trying to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons with the children, um, which is basically my furlough activity. It is so complex, it's ridiculous. If you haven't seen my vlogs talking about it, it's absolutely baffling me. Um, and I'm gonna leave the window open in the bedroom. So it's kind of like drying them on the line. Here we go. Randomly strewn about the place. I've even got one outside. And before anybody asks, um, there's stuff on the line already. Um, Mum and dad are washing stuff, so needs must. This is the rest of the stuff that I need to wash tomorrow and ordinarily I would hang things out here but number one I wanted to hang them on hangers and it's difficult to do and also we've got these new towels so they need, these need to be washed and dried as well. Since everybody's been home it's basically like washing season is it? It's, it's, it's spring cleaning. I've had a couple of gins at this point. Um, I'm ready to house party with my friends from work but I still need to put away these clothes. We're in a whole new world. This is lockdown. Um, and needs must, you know, we've got to find the time, find the time, I mean, uh, we've got to find the time to talk to people when we can. And the time apparently is now, so 
I'm going to quickly put away these clothes and then get on video chat. Thanks for joining me while I actually had a pretty productive day. Um, if you haven't been watching my vlogs, I was feeling kind of low about being furloughed and I completely appreciate what that sounds like if you are working from home, especially if you're working from home with children or you've got a particularly taxing job. I get it. I was in your position last week. Um, it was really, really rough. I found it really difficult and all I wanted was to be furloughed and the minute it happened I felt just it was as if I'd lost my job um it really was difficult and so I'm trying to find ways to fill my days in productive productive ways ways to fill my days in productive ways great English um just kind of things to keep me busy and to to make me feel like I'm not just completely wasting the time uh, of course teaching myself Dungeons and Dragons definitely was up there in terms of priorities. I've always wanted to play it, to be fair. I've mentioned it to a couple of people who've said, like, I just would never have imagined that you'd be into that kind of thing, but absolutely. That is totally my kind of game. Um, the problem I'm going to have is I don't think really anybody wants to play it with me. The kids are not that interested. You need a tremendous amount of patience. Um, but I, I feel like I, <laughs> I just wish that I had someone who already played it that could really teach me how to play it because I really truly am quite interested um but that is also another way that I'm filling my time um but today I fill my time with this and I do feel like it was a productive use of my time because now I've got so many more clothes that I didn't even realize that I had so many more things that kind of tick the boxes of the things that I've been looking at when I've been um browsing online and uh, it's definitely scratched that shopping itch, definitely. So if you haven't done this already, if you're thinking, what's the point because I'm home and I'm not wearing any of my clothes, do it. Swap over your clothes if this is how you do your wardrobe. Um, have a big declutter, just kind of like dig out the stuff that you haven't worn for a while and remind yourself what you've got. It is great and this is the time to do it. Um, if you are interested and if it turns out that there's somewhere that we can send these things, then I will do a declutter as well because I definitely could lose some clothes from my wardrobe. Um, and maybe we'll go through these, the drawers of doom, um, and my shoes, my bags and all that stuff. Let me know if you want to see that kind of thing. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to drink the rest of my current gin and tonic, get on FaceTime with my friends and um, I'll see you guys on Saturday. I'm going to do a live video. I'm going to do several live videos. It's going to be a whole thing. Saturday is my 10 year YouTube anniversary. So look out for some notifications as to what is going to be going on. There's going to be lots of live, lots of premiere, lots of chat, lots of like online stuff on Saturday. So if you've got time uh, to spend it with me, I would love for you to join me. I'll see you guys then.